This is CNN Breaking News. Here's the breaking news. We have just learned the Department of Justice expects to release the uh, nearly 400 page long Mueller report by mid April, if not sooner. CNN's Laura Jarrett uh, is with me now with with this letter here from the AG Bill Barr. And so mid April. That's right, Brooke. We've got a date. It's been only a week since the special counsel wrapped up his probe. We remember last Friday as we were all anxiously awaiting to find out the news of whether it was actually done. And we now learn that both Congress and the public will see a redacted version of that report that the special counsel's team and a small team of Justice Department lawyers over here are working on trying to redact for grand jury material, as we've reported, as well as ongoing investigations. The Attorney General Bill Barr saying in this letter, April is if not sooner. And he also adds here, Brooke, I want to point out that the president obviously has the right to assert executive privilege. And there have been questions about whether the White House would see it. We reported that he was going to actually uh, defer to Bill Barr on this. He said that publicly. And the attorney general says that the president has publicly stated he intends to defer to me. And accordingly, there are no plans, no plans to submit the report to the White House for a privilege review. So that should certainly speed things up here. As you mentioned, the report is nearly 400 pages long. Now, that doesn't include a Tendencies and the like. Uh, now, that's something we had again had reported previously, but Bill Barr confirming here mm -hmm. that his letter that went out last week was really just supposed to be the principal conclusions. He takes care to here to point out it was not supposed to be some exhaustive review of everything the special counsel found. He says he couldn't possibly have done that. It was a summary of its principal conclusions. That is its bottom line. And he goes on to say, Brooke, interestingly here, Everyone will soon be able to read it on their own. That's something, mm. of course, we've heard a lot for the past couple of days, everyone mm -hmm. clamoring to get their hands on it, to read it themselves. And finally, I should point out, he offers two dates to come testify, clearly willing and obviously knows that he's going to be hauled up to Capitol Hill there to say uh, exactly how all this came about and, of course, to provide some more context for all this. So the news, Brooke, is April, if not sooner, Bill Barr willing to come and testify. He offers two dates the first week of May. And one one follow for you, Laura, and that is this, this first line of the second graph um, from the AG. As we have discussed, I share your desire to ensure that Congress and the public, you know, will have this opportunity to read the special counsel's report. So Congress and the public. So again, just, just, just to make this crystal clear for everyone watching, wondering, all right, who's this going to? How much transparency? Do you read that as everyone gets to see this? I do, and I think that's part of what it's been taking so long here is they, they don't want to have a sort of a piecemeal process where members of Congress come over here and read it in a skiff and then pieces of it leak out. They actually want to do this in one All tranche, together. and they recognize they recognize the public interest in this, but the public paid for this report, uh, mm -hmm. as many people have pointed out time and time again, $25 million. And so I think uh, the Attorney General is very well aware of the public interest in it, but also well aware of the fact that there are ongoing investigations investigations that have sort of been spun off from Mueller's work. There's grand jury material. It's illegal to disclose that. So they're taking care to do this the right way, and they're trying to get it out. Appreciated. Laura Jarrett, thank you very much for, for the news Thanks, on the Bert. letter. And let's get a little analysis from Gloria Borger, our CNN chief political analyst. And, you know, hard to think it was a week ago. Rowan was sort of like, all right, is it today? Is it today? Is it today? You know, and it was 275 days that Mueller had been authorized to do the job. You know, the, the, it comes out that, that Mueller had concluded. Fast forward just a week later, and now we're learning. We've got a date. Sounds like, you know, they want this all out there, minus the redactions, 400-something pages by mid-April. What do you think? Mid-April. I think they're working hard at it. It's, it's interesting that, that uh, the attorney general says he is working with the special counsel. So clearly Bob Mueller mm. and Barr and the attorneys over at DOJ are working to see what can be released. As Laura was saying before, there are difficulties with grand jury testimony, with classified information, with information that may affect ongoing investigations uh, that they don't want to release at this particular point. But uh, the interesting part, the most interesting part to me, is uh -huh. that Barr said, well, since the White House said that they're going to leave the question of privilege up to me, the attorney general, I don't yeah. intend to, to send any of this over to the White House. He said there are no plans to submit the report to the White House for a privilege review. Thank you very much. So hmm. you've left it up to me. And I'm saying, OK, we're not going to do that. So uh, there isn't going to be any privilege review.
Here's my other question. This is what I was just talking to the congressman about, because there, there's also this line from Bill Barr. I'm aware of some media reports and other public <laughs> statements mischaracterizing my right. March 24th, 2019, you know, supplemental notification as a summary it goes on. You know, it was a summary. It was really, quote, principal conclusions. Um, it's the president. It's the president of the United States who is essentially trying to convince the people it's the same thing. Right. And, and Barr says, look, it isn't. What he says is that um, this is the bottom line. There, there are two things that were investigated. There was collusion and there was obstruction. And here were the bottom lines on both of those. But there, mm -hmm. it offered no explanation. It offered no real summary, as he points out, mm -hmm. of why Mueller uh, did what he did. So we're going we're gonna to get to see that. And it's clear that this really rankled Barr because uh, he said that um, that uh, that uh, Chairman Nadler refers to his notification as a four-page summary, mm -hmm. and then he went on to correct him and said that's not what it was, and that perhaps once you read all of this, you will uh, you will understand that. But it, it's clear to me that Barr is has decided that he wants to fast track this, and that working with Mueller, here's our timetable. We're getting it out by mid-April, if not sooner. By the way. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it could come it could come earlier than that and then i'm going to testify on may 1 and may 2 and then i'm going to be done with this there has been a lot of frustration towards this ag though to the, the fact that Mueller did not uh sort of rule or decide on obstruction right. for example right and um it seemed that Barr had, and everyone's pointing to that 2017 or 2018, you know, summary he'd written about obstruction right. with regard to this president. And I'm That's just right. wondering the fact that he is fast tracking this. He is saying, hey, and here are two dates, by the way, where mm -hmm. I'm happy to show up and testify. Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? Well, uh, he's going to be asked a lot of questions about why he and Rod Rosenstein decided to uh, say, okay, it's up to us. There's there's uh, we're not going to we're not going to charge any obstruction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the question I think that we're all asking is, did Bob Mueller intend for uh, for the attorney general to make that decision or did he, in, did he intend for that decision to be made by Congress mm -hmm. and not the attorney general? Obviously, the special counsel knew exactly what the attorney general thought about any obstruction charges because he had written about it, as you point out, in that 19 page <coughs> memo in, in uh, June of 2018. So the question is, what did Mueller intend? And so now we may have to hear from Mueller. It seems to me that Jerry Nadler has made the case that maybe you need to hear from Mueller and Barr and Rosenstein as well. Mm -hmm. When we do see this report in, within the next month, Gloria, right. what, what, are, what are the specific things well, you will be looking well, for, uh, the, other than what you just mentioned? Right. I, I think the big, the big question here is why Mueller decided that he couldn't decide yeah, <laughs> on obstruction, yeah. right? That he couldn't say there was anything criminal, but he couldn't say that there wasn't something wrong. And, you know, that he couldn't exonerate, but there was something wrong, but maybe it wasn't criminal maybe it was abuse of power we just we just have no idea and maybe we'll learn a little bit more about what the both sides of the argument were and whether perhaps the attorneys working for Mueller could not agree i mean i, I don't think Mueller's going to write a report and say this attorney thought this and this other attorney thought that but he will give i believe uh both sides of the argument and we'll be able to see, it, it'll sort of lift the veil a little bit on the struggle they were having inside uh, the special counsel's office about mm -hmm. how to decide that. And we'll also learn, I think much more specifically, about why they decided there was, there was no collusion here. Right. Um, was, it, was it because that these people were unwittingly used by the Russians? Uh, he did conclude that the Russians were trying to influence the election on behalf of Donald Trump. We know that already from a lot of indictments that have come down against the Russians. But we'll learn a little bit more about what specifically the Russians were trying to do uh, mm -hmm. with people inside the Trump campaign. And it may tell us more about the Russian MO than mm -hmm. we've already known.